Angular rate of change. An airplane flies at an altitude of five miles towards a direct a point directly over an observer. Consider theta and x is shown in the figure. Okay, so we got an airplane. It's five miles up in the um, sky. It's flying this way. It's eventually going to pass this person. And this angle here, it's going to change, okay, as it flies over this person. Okay? So, first of all, we want to write theta as a function of x. So, we want theta equals something in terms of x. Okay, so this is x, this is 5. This is theta. So hopefully you can see that this is a right trig problem. So I think you can see this, that tangent of theta equals 5 over x. But this is not a function of write theta as a function of x. Okay? Um, we would need to write it this way. We would need to say theta equals inverse tangent 5 over x. Okay? This is theta as a function of x. Alright, so part B, the speed of the plane is 400 miles per hour. So the rate of change of the speed it's going 400 miles per hour. That is a rate. That's going to be important. Speed is a rate. Find the derivative of theta with respect to t. To respect to t. So this is the rate of change, so derivative is rate of change, of theta with respect to time, when x is 5 and when x is 3. So let's just solve one of these. If you solve one of them, you're going to be able to solve the other one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to come up with the, an equation that relates the speed and theta. Okay? So, we need the speed of airplane. Okay, the speed of the airplane is going to be the rate of change of rate of change of x with respect to time. So for this problem that's going to be the rate of change of x, that's going to be the, the rate of change, the derivative of x with respect to time. That's going to be how you're going to use the calculus notation using derivatives to represent the speed of the airplane, which is the rate of change of x with respect to time. This x value, this is changing over time, that's going to be the speed of the airplane. That's going to be equal to negative 400 miles per hour. Because they told us that the airplane is going 400 miles per hour. Since it's going this way, that's in a negative direction. If it was going the other way, it would be going in a positive direction. So we have that. So now, we've got this, um, this right here. This is the derivative of theta with respect to time. So the first thing we need to do, we need to come up with an equation that relates x and theta. 
Well, we've done that right here. There's x, there's theta. The next thing we need to do, we need to take the derivative of this function with respect to t. So let's take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. So, the derivative of theta, okay, would be 1, and then we would need to write d theta dt, because theta is not with respect to t. Then we'd need to take the derivative of um, the inverse tangents of 5 over x. Well, remember that when you're taking the derivative of arc tangents of u, and we'll say with respect to t, that's what we're doing in this problem, this would be equal to u prime all over 1 plus u squared. Okay, so for this problem, let's rewrite this as the derivative with respect to time of theta equals the inverse tangent or arc tangent. And let's write this as 5x to the negative first. So now u is going to be 5x to the negative first. So if I take u prime, that's going to be negative 5. negative 5x to the negative seconds, and then it's going to have to be dx dt. So this is x, this is with respect to time. All over 1 plus u squared, if I square this, this would become 25x, right? 5 to the negative first times 5 to the negative first uh, would be 25 x to the negative second, excuse me. Because when you multiply like bases, you add the exponents. Okay, so we have this guy here. Okay. Now, Let's solve for d theta dt, because that's what we're trying to find. So we need to solve this equation. Okay? So we know dx dt is negative 400 miles per hour. We know that x is 10. All right, so eventually we're going to plug those in there. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by x squared. So d theta dt equals negative 5 of the x squared and x to the negative 2. That's going to cancel out. Um, d x dt, that's going to be negative 400, all over x squared plus 25. Okay. So then, let's see, d theta dt, this is going to be um, 2 thousand, uh, let's see, x squared, let's plug in 10, so this is going to be 100 plus 25, this is going to be 2,000 over 125, and then 
and then 2,000 divided by 125 is going to be 16. So this is going to change as 16 radians per hour.